XR acrylic. So there's two things. If you've never worked with an acrylic resin medium bef before, there's two things that you have. One is your acrylic resin itself. Now, my product is called an acrylic glacier resin. Part of the reason why I use the words glacier is because it means kind of icy and clear. This is a non-yellowing, self-leveling formula. I put a UV protectant in it, so that way if it sits in the sun, it's not going to yellow at all. It's a beautiful, clear acrylic, which you're going to love working with. The other thing that you have is an acrylic glacier hardener. Now, these two have to go together. These are two 16 ounce containers and mixed together, it's gonna to give us 32 ounces. 32 ounces is going to have a coverage of eight square feet. The average kitchen in its countertops is 30 square feet. That's an average. So that allows you to be able to kind of figure out about how much acrylic you're going to need. You are never going to buy the resin by itself and you're never gonna buy the hardener by itself. They have to always go together. So that's why this is considered a 32 ounce kit of acrylic resin. All right, so I'm gonna mix these together. Now what I will normally do, and you can have larger containers, but because of um, how I'm showing you this today and the size that I have, I'm gonna be working with these two small containers. Now, the other thing is you have approximately uh, 20 minutes after you mix this to be able to use it. All right, so I'm gonna take my acrylic resin first. And you can work with measuring cups. Now, as a rule, I would like for you to wear some form of a mask because my cups are kind of small. I'm gonna be mixing it together. Now, I'm gonna take my hardener. I cannot express the importance of making sure that you are working with equal amounts. If you get a little bit more hardener than your resin, it can have a tendency when you get through, it'll feel like it never really dries. So there's two important things. Please make sure that they're equally measured, they're identical, and then also that when you blend them and you're stirring them, you need to mix them for three minutes. Very, very important. All right, so now we're gonna mix them together. I will just usually use like a tongue depressor or um, a wood spoon or a plastic spoon. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to always work with gloves. When you are working with acrylic resins and hardeners, I want you to protect your hands. Now, I do have a product called Grime Boss that I buy at the hardware store that I will use and clean my hands. Um, because I usually will go through about three pairs of gloves when I'm working on one project because I get my fingers down in it, then I take them off, then I put another pair on, then I'm cleaning my hands. So that way when you get ready to do this, you may just want to have um, three pairs ready. So I like working with the clear ones because the blue ones just are too distracting. When I'm trying to do a video, I want you to have um, clear gloves. So if this is something you plan on teaching folks later, I really suggest having clear gloves. It just shows up better. All right, so now I've got my hardener. Um, my hardener is a much more fluid consistency and the uh, resin itself is really thick. So I will usually take my hardener and that's the one that I will pour in here. Scrape the sides because I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure that I don't leave any of this yummy stuff in here. Then, I try to work with plastic cups so that, or, or silicone. These, I, I just pour, uh, pour out what I need and then I throw them away. So you're gonna see, it's gonna go when you mix them together. See how it gets kind of cloudy? You wanna make sure that you're not blending it too fast so you start making a lot of bubbles. I do have my hair dryer here because that way you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun to be able to hit it after you've poured it out and it will pop those bubbles so that way you don't have those bubbles in your surface. All right, so now I just wanna make sure this is blended really well. 
I'm cheating just a little bit because I don't want y'all to have to sit here and watch me stir this for three minutes. But as you are working on yours, please do that. Now, as a rule too, when I'm working with multiple colors, I'll lay them out. So I'm, I'll mix a larger batch of resin and then I'm gonna pour it up into my different colors. 